What's up guys? Duty's Daggers here. Please subscribe to the channel. Look down there, make sure that you are right now. And follow me on Instagram, duties underscore daggers. This is a hot, hot knife right now. Super, super hot. It's all the rage. You're not cool if you don't have one. Um, and so I'm glad I finally got one. Civivi, dude. Um, I feel like when I first started collecting knives, I bought a lot more Civivis. And um, maybe they just haven't had uh, as many knives anymore that I'm really interested in. Last one I bought was the Cubit, which I really like very, very much. But before that, it, was, it had been a while. Um, but this one I'm really stoked on. You might already know from the thumbnail or just guessing. Um, actually, Civivi has two knives out right now that are pretty dang popular. This is the Vision. Ooh, it's even a little bigger than I thought. That's awesome. It's the Vision, uh, what is the, what's the letters? FG, Vision, Vision FG. Don't know what that's, that uh, stands for. Um, wow, okay, cool. This is a little bigger than I thought. That's awesome. So if you don't know, um, this is a Snacks design. He's a, he's a custom knife maker. Uh, and he had a knife with Wii. Uh, for a while. It was a premium knife with titanium scales and uh, some kind of nice blade steel. Um, and that was the only vision that you could get for a while besides his customs. Um, but now there's this, the Civivi Vision. I'm just going to call it the Vision. I can't, cannot remember the FG for some reason. This is the Civivi Vision. Um, so it's a lot cheaper. I think it's about 80 bucks. Um, and from what I've been hearing, the action's better. It's pretty much better all around, except the materials are a little, little uh, less, uh, less expensive. So let's. I'm, I'm, I'm. Ooh, little stick. That'll probably go away. Actually, kind of sounds cool with the with a little bit of click noise there. Yeah, it's pretty sticky. I'll give it, uh, you know, I'll give it a couple days. I'm sure it'll smoothen it out. Um, so this is pretty freaking cool, man. Um, there hasn't been this this style of lock um, really since the shark lock. Um, and it, there's a different mechanism in there, but it's how you you know uh, disengage, how you use it is basically the same thing. You know, you've got uh, little tabs right here that you place your finger on and you pull down and kind of out also. And it feels kind of pretty much the same motion with this. It does feel different, though. It definitely feels different. Uh, you know, it's the same motion with your finger. It feels different, though. Let's see, if I just slow roll it. Yeah, it doesn't really stick that much. It's when I flick it out with some force that it it likes to stick. Well, hold on. Yeah, I don't, I'm hoping that'll wear 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 out, wear itself out. So we're perfectly centered. Um, we have an inset deep carry clip that's kind of off to the side. Uh, I was wondering if that would mess with the ergos, and it does a, li a little bit. Um, I feel this this edge here. Um, you know what might be good on this knife is a is a um, a CVV titanium clip. They do sell those that you can buy. Um, that might be really nice on this knife. Uh, they're not deep carry, uh, but uh, it'll get rid of this little hump right there. Um, I might actually have a clip that'll fit this. I have so many knife parts. I'll have to look around and see. Uh, the blade. Let's check this blade out. 
Definitely a sheep's footy blade with a little belly. The whole tip is kind of up a bit from the handle. Um, it's not really a downward, uh, downward facing blade, um, but still super easy to get to the tip. Really nice. Um, nice choke up spot, definitely. Very nice. Feels pretty thin behind the edge, less than 20 for sure. We'll measure it here in a minute. Almost a full flat grind. Yeah, I, I'd pretty much call that a full flat grind. It's full flat up here, and then you can kind of see a little bit of flats right there. Blade steel is Nitro V. Oh, let's feel the edge. Decent, decent. Feels glassy, but uh, not unbelievably sharp, but it's sharp. Um, designed by Snex. Right there, nothing on the other side, that's cool. I like that very much. Full liners. The only uh, weight relief is just these holes. Um, it does feel a little bit more weighty than I was expecting, which I actually like. Uh, it feels like, it feels sub more substantial than I thought it would. So that's really nice. I, I like a little bit of weight to my knives. It just makes them feel more sturdy, a little bit nicer, you know? Uh, the detent feeling is not, you know, it's not crispy like you would have with the detent, tri uh, you know, traditional detent, uh, detent ball on a frame or liner or compression lock or something. But uh, it's definitely a bit snappier than the shark lock. Um, you can see the shark lock. I mean, it's easy to flip, but it's also easy to fail. You know what I mean? Uh, this one just feels a little bit like there's a little bit more of a, a kind of an, an, an initial breakaway from the closed position. It feels good. Reverse flick. Yep. Yep. Actually, the surface area is pretty much the same. You know, uh, Seeing this knife in videos, uh, this lock bar, I couldn't really tell if it was quite thin or if it was wide enough, really, to where you would get a good grip on it. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm talking about the, the width this way. Uh, but it looks to be about the same as the 5.5, the 25 point, or the 20.5, uh, I mean. Yeah, it's about the same. So that's good. That means, uh, you know, it's a comfortable little landing spot for your for your finger. You can do this kind of thing, like with the shark lock. You don't get the super clicky clacky noise like you do with this. It's kind of more muted, but still very good. Um, bearings, bearings, yep. Yeah. This is cool, man. I, I think I'm really going to like this. Um, I, I wouldn't, I don't, I mean, you, you could carry this at work. This could be a work knife. Um, for what I do, this will probably be kind of like a, you don't know, um, around the house knife, going out on the weekend knife. Uh, probably not like hard use, although it probably could be uh, hard used. And I know it's a strong locking mechanism. Uh, but... This is going to be fun, man. Yeah. If the stick goes away, um, that'll be awesome. Now, on the old version, this could pop out. This whole lock bar could kind of like come out, almost like on the the, uh, the factor. You know, completely different locking mechanism, but this kind of thing, kind of where it would kind of it could come out and flop, but it but only if you really wanted it to. Um, this, however, has something preventing it from popping out. And I was talking to Jason, he said you can even, there was a way to take out a pin or something so that it could pop all the way out. He was saying he liked, he actually liked how it came all the way out because you can get in there to clean out the knife easier. Um, so I don't know, I'll have to ask him about that. I don't see, unless it's that one right there. It might be, actually. Yeah, because it can't get low enough around the stop pin. I bet if you take that pin out, then it'll come out all the way. I bet you. 
but either way, it doesn't really matter. It is really smooth. I mean, if you hold down the lock, you got a very free swinging blade here. Oh yeah, let's measure behind the edge. Ooh, 12, baby, 12 thousandths. Nice. Very, very nice. Now we got 16 there, and then towards the tip, it's like we go back down to 15-ish. Uh, that's great, man. That's very great. And yeah, not a, not too thick of a blade stock either. Actually, let's measure that too. Whoopsie. 0.1. Yeah, that's going to be a good slicer, dude. Uh, full cut test video coming. Yeah, I'm absolutely going to do a full cut test with this knife. Um, also, probably going to dye the scales. Uh, you know, there was a couple options on this knife. Uh, there were some micarta versions, but those had black blades. This was the only version with a satin blade, and uh, I just really wanted a satin blade. I, I'm not a big fan of black blades, so um, the only satin was with a jade scale. So I thought I'll get that and I'll dye it. So that's what I'm going to do. Might go with. Uh, I was initially thinking like a maroon color. I still might do that, but uh, we'll see. I'll go go to the go to uh, Hobby Lobby and see what colors they got. The G10 is not like way too grippy either, which is good. This is kind of the the G10 that I prefer. Interesting. You kind of have a little hole right here. I don't think it serves any purpose other than you can kind of see the mechanism in there. It's almost like a little window into what's going on in there. That's kind of cool. I wonder if, no, that wouldn't be for lube because I don't think you would really want to put lube on that lock face anyways. So I guess it's just, yeah, just kind of, you can see what's going on in there. It's kind of cool. Yeah, this is neat, man. This is really nice. Well, that's about it. Full cut test coming. I'll let you know how it does. Well, you'll see how it does in the video. And um, yeah, this is the Snacks Vision from Sabibi. Muy, muy bien. Please like the video before you guys head out. I'd appreciate it. I'll see you soon. Adios.